Welcome to Maverick Veteran and thanks for stopping by. As you can see, I've shaved my beard off and thought if I've any regrets, I'll just grow it back. But that got me thinking, what if I sold my soul and became compliant with the government narrative? Once it's gone, you're at the point of no return. Your soul, the fibre of your being, your values, your beliefs will be gone forever. I need to look my grandchildren in the eye and tell them they are growing up in a free country. We Brits, indeed all people of the free world, are free because we have fought for each other. But I believe it's time to fight again, to die if necessary, so that we may remain free and I can maintain my promise to the grandchildren. Free from a totalitarian socialist establishment, free from the invasion of our shores, free from woke ideology, free from unconsented medical experimentation in all its forms. Free to decide what is right for us. Free to express our views and opinions. Freedom to protest. In short, to live free. We must be able to bring our kids up in a way we see fit and not have them subjected to the bullshit brainwashing within schools, colleges and universities. Bring back the tried and tested values of family, trust, loyalty, honour and respect. But, and it's a big but, where do we start? When the government puppets would rather prioritise the diktat of the World Economic Forum and One World Government before the needs of its people, the two main political parties within the UK are two cheeks of the same arse. And the vast majority of the 650 MPs in the House of Commons haven't got the full interests of the people at heart. Breaking news today is that Nadine Zahawi has been sacked from the Cabinet Office for breaching the Ministerial Code over his tax affairs. When is the corruption within government going to stop? Or is it deliberate to create a distraction from what is really going on behind the scenes? As billions of pounds in aid and equipment are given away to foreign nations and an unchecked invading force of men of war fighting age on our coastlines, the needs of the British people are definitely on the back burner of UK politics. Hotel accommodation, smartphones and pocket money is handed out like candy while our own people, including veterans, remain homeless on the streets. Families struggling to put food on the table or heat their homes, while Sunak, the billionaire, patronises us with his fuel grants and handouts, turning a once proud nation of people into a land of beggars and third-class citizens. And don't even get me started on the chicks with dicks issue. We need to remove them from office and learn to say no more often. Don't be fooled into believing what they say is in our best interests, as recent history has proved that theory to be fake news. Britain was built on democracy and freedom of speech and freedom of expression. Today, Britain is crumbling due to the woke ideology being forced down our throats. 
It's up to us, the people of this United Kingdom, to slow down and stem the corrosion. Failing public services, corrupt police forces, 15-minute cities and the planned introduction of ultra-low emission zones by Ratboy. Our once great United Kingdom has become unrecognisable and a laughing stock around the world. We need to stand, fight and protect our democracy and the future of our kids. It may already be too late, but there is always hope. Please leave comments below. Thanks for watching. This call sign is out.